Oh man, I'm busy this Friday, but I am free next Friday, December 1st. December 1st? Free next Friday? That's when the Winter Bash is happening, though. Hold on a second. What's the Winter Bash? <laughs> What's the Winter Bash? The Winter Bash is an event held here at the high school next Friday on December 1st from 8 p.m. to midnight. Activities include <laughs> volleyball, knocker balls, movies, and a ton of free food. What is it for? It's for the shelter box. Boxes full of materials which get sent to families who were hit by natural disasters. Tickets will be available next week at lunch for $7. And if you pay an extra dollar, you could get entered in a drawing for throwing a pie at a teacher at the event. However, if you choose not to pay at lunch and you still want to come to the event, you can pay $10 up front during the event. That sounds so cool. Let me tell my friend about it. Hey, let's go to the Winter Bash on December 1st. In case you haven't noticed, the blood drive is today. If you still want to donate and you were over 16, you still can. See Mrs. Sunshell ASAP. Michigan Technical College will be here next Tuesday, November 28th. Sign up with the counselors if you are interested with visiting them. Hello, Mr. Van Drunen here with a couple of late breaking announcements. First, uh, I'd like to offer some congratulations to Jason Anderson and Molly Ryla for placing first and second in the high school uh, category for the local Indigenous Peoples Day essay contest. Congrats to them and uh, maybe they'll share their cash prize with you if you're real nice to them. Uh, secondly, students should check their email for an email from Mr. Granley related to updating their iPads uh, to the newest version. You're not going to want to do it right now in school, just in case you need your iPad, because it takes a little bit of time to do this. But maybe over the long weekend, right, you can get a chance to update your iPad before you come back to school next week. And then lastly, I'd like to just mention, uh, we're looking to start putting some teams together for the Senior High Knowledge Bowl season. Um, the meets will start coming in uh, January. Uh, February and then there's kind of a playoffs in March we're looking for teams of uh, four or five people uh, you can sign up as a team or as an individual we'll try to fit you in otherwise but if you're interested in uh, being part of uh, an academic team uh, that's had some success in the past and is looking to send a team to state this year uh, feel free to stop by my room and sign up or get some more details thank you this week is our Thanksgiving special. As the Hawk Talk staff, we are going around to ask people what they're thankful for. I'm grateful for having the opportunity to be on Hawk Talk. I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity to come and work with great students and an excellent staff every day. What are you thankful for? My family and right, friends, friends and no, I don't know. my privileges of being able to play sports and hunt. Emily, what are you thankful for this year? I'm grateful for my great friends and the opportunity to play basketball. And I'm thankful for good walkable ice that's safe for ice fishing. I am thankful for Jane's dad not giving me a ticket going 70 to 30. Well, I'm grateful for a lot of things, but definitely grateful for family and good friends and and having good health. Thankful for my tenors and the rest of the choir, but mostly my tenors. Eli, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for Skittles. Skittles. <laughs> I'm thankful for all of my great TAs. They take such good care of me. I am very thankful for a good job, a nice house, and health and family. I'm thankful for uh, my family and my friends. I'm thankful for my sports teammates and family. I'm thankful for sports. I'm thankful for fishing. I'm thankful for jelly fam. I am thankful for Christmas. I am thankful for hockey. My family and friends. I am thankful for my education and my healthy state of mind. <laughs> I'm thankful for the freedoms we enjoy in this country. I am thankful for my best friend, Anthony. I am thankful for all of my hard-working students who come every day ready to learn. 
Patrick, what are you thankful for this year? Well, Libby, I'm glad you asked. I'm thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful for the people I'm surrounded by. I'm thankful for the music that I listen to because it makes this vibe it's great. I'm thankful for many things. I'm thankful for coffee. This is tea right here, but I'm thankful when I have coffee. I am thankful for lab coats, the best type of coat, and of course, lol cats. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm thankful for my friends. Relax. Hey guys, what are you thankful for? Food, hockey, my saxophone. Thankful for um, education. I am thankful for all the wonderful students that I teach this year and over over the last several years. Uh, not to mention uh, my my wife's two dogs and uh, <laughs> and uh, my children. I'm thankful for Supreme. Ich bin dankbar für Brihana. What are you thankful for? A long time. I'm thankful for today was a good day. Uh, I was just chilling and. Uh, Study hall. I look up. I see the most fabulous man, Tyler Crum. I smile. I shed a tear. And then I went back to what I was doing. <laughs> I'm thankful for my job of being a teacher because being a teacher allows me to release lots of dopamine as I teach my students, and dopamine makes us all very happy. I love teaching. <laughs> I'm thankful for Levi. Uh -huh. Ryan, what are you thankful for? My mother. I am thankful that uh, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday and that I'll get to spend it with family, friends, and I look forward to uh, hockey this weekend. Oh, and, and I'm also very thankful for Fifth Hour as well. Dilly dilly! <laughs> what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for Mr. Hermes. Hermes is a nice guy. I am thankful for football, um, hunting, my dog, and of course my family and friends. I'm Sorry, I'm thankful for my family and the new friends I've made this year. I'm thankful for my grandma. Okay, Macy, what are you thankful for? That's very easy to answer. I'm thankful for all of the students here at Grand Rapids High School. I think you're amazing, you're talented. Um, not only in the classroom do you do great things, but out in the community, on our courts and uh, fields and rinks. And, um, so I'm very thankful for all of our students at Grand Rapids High. Well, let's see, I'm thankful for friends, for family, for retirement, and for a winning biking season. I'm thankful for my freshman students. Hey, sophomore. And sophomores. And juniors and seniors. I'm thankful for this school. Thankful for my birds. I'm thankful for my family. America. Mr. Das, what are you thankful for this year? Okay, I'm, I'm thankful for, um, for the staff and students that I get to work with every day. Um, I'm thankful for my health, and I'm thankful to live in a community that values education and um, to be in a position where I can make a difference every day. <laughs> Brooke, what are you thankful for? My cats. What are you thankful for? My shoes. Make them light up. Hey! <laughs> and what are you thankful for? Well, uh, I am thankful for that high five no one gives me anymore. What are you thankful for? My yeah. <laughs> I am thankful for my family and my, my pet. He's, he's my pride and joy. So, what are you thankful for? Wow, I didn't know you spoke fluent Mandarin. Well, I'm guessing everybody says family and friends and all that <laughs> stuff. So why don't I say something cool like, all the fun, cool athletes and band kids in the school yeah. and all the other kids <laughs> that just make it so beautiful around here. 